Committee for the Greens. Dear Mr. Ansip, uh, thank you very much uh, for your uh, strong words on data protection. I think you have uh, the huge uh, majority of this House behind you when going ahead with that, as we have voted on our data protection package with the high standards. So my question, the first question is, uh, how will you avoid that uh, the Council of Ministers will fall apart uh, very far from the position of the European Parliament, as we also will uh, somehow push for our position and uh, have some red lines on it? Um, and the second part is, uh, I very much welcome your words on open source, but how will you ensure that uh, products and services uh, offered on the European market will not uh, provide a backdoor, uh, for example, to the NSA or others. Thank you very much. A broad majority of uh, the European uh, Parliament is supporting uh, data protection uh, regulation. And, uh, According to my understanding, the good news is that, uh, that more and more EU member states uh, they are also uh, supporting uh, um, data protection uh, framework. Um, I promise to do my utmost to find uh, a good solution uh, for our citizens. I'm quite sure that, uh, that uh, my former colleagues they would like to see digital single market as a reality, but it's impossible without a very secure data protection. Data protection is a precondition for digital single market. So, open source uh, software you know, open source software, it's, it's like Wikipedia, as we know. Everybody can, can use, everybody can develop. And if everybody can use and everybody can develop, then uh, it's, uh, according to my understanding, uh, uh, quite, quite uh, easy to, to find are oh, there some backdoors or not with a licensed uh, software, I think it's, it's more uh, complicated to, to find those uh, backdoors. So, um, once again, this is a question about trust. We have to create real trust here in Europe. Thank you.